Long day. That was a long day. Long day of work. Yeah. Look at all these trimmed out windows. Wow, looking good. So much nicer. So much nicer. Hey folks, Amy from Colorado Mountain Living and we had a really beautiful, nice weather weekend. I want to give you an update on that in this video. Definitely got a few things done. It was a busy weekend and a little bit of a surprising weekend. So I'm going to tell you all about that. But as you can tell, I'm out here with the short sleeves on, the sun's out. It's very nice. I think it's in the 60s right now. It's our last really mild day before another little band of cold weather spring precipitation comes through you know what that means snow in our case but can you see behind me i don't know you might be able to hear the bees are buzzing today they are out and about and they're after the bird seed if you can believe it i'm wondering if it is maybe some protein in that bird seed or if they're getting a little bit of starch off those seeds for food but uh they're definitely active right now and I checked on the hives earlier and all three hives have survived the winter, which is pretty amazing considering about nationwide, the average for loss of bee colonies is 45%. That's almost 50% hive loss for on average for most beekeepers across the United States. And I'm bragging when I say this, but it's been four years with 0% loss up here at 9,000 foot plus elevation. So as nice as it is outside, I want to take you inside to show you the work that Brian's been doing over the weekend. He really busted out the last of the window frames and some door frames inside. Finally, that door is going to have a frame on it. Let me show you how it's looking now that it's all trimmed out. I also have to update you on the boulder fire, the end car fire that's going on near us as well. So stay tuned for that. Yep, this window's got another layer of complexity being yes. uh, high up. Always on a ladder. Get the extension ladder out from under the snow. It looks like that window's centered better. Oh. So it might, uh, it might be easier to do all the measuring. So mm. we might, might yeah. go faster. I think you got long arms. Doing. <laughs> Coming down. The handoff. So we're doing things a little bit different this time around with the rest of the windows. Instead of putting together the wood, putting installing it, and then staining it afterward, we're doing the staining job before. Uh, it's definitely a lot easier not to mark up the walls when you're doing um, the window trim. So we stained, you can see behind me the inside of the window there and all the window pane framing and then the window trim is pre-stained will be put right into place. <laughs> Which one's going in first?
So before you nail it, you're trying to cl clamp it all together? Yeah, yeah. just uh, some of the boards are bowed a little bit. Oh. What do you see, Viggo, out that window, huh? See something? I have to put some screws in this one because it's twisted. Oh. Then put one in that top corner and then bottom corner. Tricky business. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the door frame. I have to put up something on that wood, some yeah. some plastic so Vigo doesn't scratch it up. Yeah. Does it cut up does it cover up all of his scratches on the wall? Nice. Yeah. It's like our home's finally done. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> our home, you're all done. But as you can see, it's definitely looking different inside these days. All of the windows and the deck door now trimmed out in that nice red chestnut finish. Look at these windows. The big pride and joy right here, looking at our door with some nice finished trim on it. Really finishes out the kitchen, makes it look like a real home. He also did a little bit of work to get the door easier to open and close. A lot of times 
the door was not latching well, and you had to really slam it shut. So you only have to a little bit slam it shut now. So definitely, um, definitely so much nicer looking with all of that trimmed up. No more foam, no more jagged drywall up in our house. <laughs> And there's a dog in the car. What is going on here? Vigo. I had to unload the car. Earlier this weekend, I had a big art market. So I wasn't even around while Brian was doing all this work, trimming out the windows. And I just barely unloaded my car this morning, have a little bit of, of a break. Now, I know some of you guys might know this, but a lot of you guys don't. And I know you've been asking questions, you know, where have you been? And what's going on with YouTube? And I uh, missed your videos, but both Brian and I work full time during the week. We, we're not full time YouTubers, believe it or not, and we're not full time homesteaders. And even though we do a lot of work on our house, all of our week is spent working in the healthcare field. Brian works in cardiology, and I work in nutrition, and I work from home talking to clients online. So we work full time all week long. And then over the weekend, I have a secondary business of selling jewelry that I make from the beehives and the honeycombs, which you've seen if you've been around for a while. So uh, not a lot of time left for YouTube after that. It takes hours to put together these videos, guys, believe it or not. And um, even to get one video out a week takes several hours in the week. And lately, I just haven't had that. I've been very busy with my nutrition clients, which I'm grateful for. I love that work. And anyhow, so that's the update with us. But we, me and Vigo, I have the afternoon off. So I've got to run down to the post office and get some stamps, do some, bring some mail to the post office. And uh, Vigo's along for the ride, I think. But I do want to give you an update on that Boulder Fire as well, because that it ended up impacting my weekend. You ready to go for a ride in the car? Oh, okay. Well, if you go for a ride in the car, you have to get all the way in and close the door. Okay. That was a fun little drive, but uh, around here it takes a little while for the roads to dry out. So look at my car, you can see how muddy it is. And the driveway kind of looks similar. There's spots where things are dry, spots where things are still pretty wet, like under the tractor there. But I do want to show you one area that we've been working on that's much improved since Brian fixed the drainage, and that is the hillside of the driveway. Always this time of year where we really start to notice the way the water drains. And so Brian's really anticipating hopefully this summer to regrade some of the top of the driveway as we get ready for the shed build. We get the big equipment in here to build it up more towards the house so it's really all draining away from the house. So we get rid of some of these puddle areas. Like there's a chronic puddle area right here, right before the driveway starts to go down. But I wanna show you how it's looking since we added that drainage on the side this fall. Right before winter came, Brian spent some time digging out the side of the driveway. It's a, a little bit soft under my feet here, but really it's not wet at all. So look at that all the way down the drive here. You can see there's, there's no draining in the middle of the driveway anymore. All of the snow and water melting snow. And if we get rain this week, should stay to the left of the driveway. There's just a little patch at the very end there. It's a little bit wet, but thankfully the entire slope of the driveway is solid as a rock, hard and dry, and GeoCell keeping everything into place. Definitely helped cutting that channel on the inner side of the drive. The other side of the driveway is still filled with snow. Here's Vigo's watering hole. 
a little spring right there. Got some water in it, but mostly all snow still. And the upper part of the driveway, pretty dry as well. All right, folks, so the last update I wanted to give you was about the recent fire that broke out in Boulder over the weekend. So I didn't even realize it was going on because I was down in Denver at an art show, like I said, and I had a friend send me a message saying, hey, what's going on with the fire? Fire location broke out in Boulder near the trailheads, near Mesa Trail, near NCAR, the National Center for Atmospheric Research. So they're calling the calling it the NCAR fire. So it was really uh, crazy because the winds on Saturday were really high and they had to evacuate a lot of people. I think it was up to 18,000 people were notified about evacuations on Saturday when the fire spread and they didn't have any containment by the end of Saturday. So some of the footage I'm showing is from my drive home from the art show and I could see the fire I, on the highway. I could see it over in the Boulder area. So I'm driving past this and curious you know is it, how much is it spreading now as far as spreading to our house there wasn't really any likelihood of that because of the direction of the wind plus where we live up in the mountains it would have to climb all the way up the canyon road but um, a lot of people i mean even some of the artists from our show had to evacuate uh, that night and so it was a really high stress environment and then on when i was driving back in on sunday morning i noticed not as much billowy smoke, but definitely a haze in the air. So what you're seeing here is haze in the air from the smoke. And they had it at about 35% containment as of this morning. Now, I think they're estimating about 190 acres burning. And they are anticipating the wet weather moving in tomorrow. So they're hoping that's going to really help get them fully contained. But the evacuations were lifted. People were able to go back to their homes. So they're really feeling confident about their containment right now. But it's just kind of scary to think that that's always a possibility for us and it's always a possibility with um, even with the drought conditions I mean technically Colorado's still in a drought so that's why these fires take up um, you know get uh, going so quickly they're still investigating the cause of the fire but given the location I wouldn't be surprised if it was related to human activity because so many people were hiking in that park over the weekend uh, I don't know just throwing out my my assumptions but might have been had to do with something like that so i want to give you guys an update i'm sure you were curious if you think of fires in colorado and you hear boulder i know you think about us and how we are somewhat close to that location but uh as the crow flies we're probably 20 miles from it but the fire is seems pretty well contained at this point so hopefully they wrap it up this week if they get the rain and we might get the snow i might be out in a winter jacket next time you see me at the next video guys but thanks for tuning in and we'll keep you posted at our next home project not sure what it's going to be yet but we'll definitely let you know as we get going on it all right guys take care now bye the last piece Long day? That was a long day. Long day of work. Yeah. Look at all these trimmed out windows. Wow, looking good. So much nicer. So much nicer. It's like a finished house. I guess we're done building. <laughs> <laughs> Basement stuff.